Welcome back to Bona's Kitchen. Today is another Baking 101 and we will make Choco Butternut Crinkles. Let's get baking! We will need 2 cups of plain flour, 4 medium eggs, 1 cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, half cup of light brown sugar, 1 cup of white sugar, half cup of vegetable oil, 2 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 teaspoon of baking powder, and 1 half teaspoon of salt. For the butternut coating, we will need 1 and 1 half cup of plain flour, 1 third cup of unsalted butter, 1 half cup of white sugar, 1 fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and orange food coloring but I don't have orange food coloring so I'm gonna use red and yellow you can also check the full list of ingredients in the description below in a bowl sift together the flour salt and baking powder Then mix them together. In another bowl, add the oil, brown sugar, white sugar, and beat them together using a hand mixer on a medium setting. Occasionally scrape the bowl. Then, add the cocoa powder. And continue beating. Slowly add the eggs Then add in the vanilla extract Add the flour mixture and continue beating until well incorporated. And scrape the sides of the bowl. Cover it with cling film and let it chill in the fridge for about 4 hours to overnight. In a pan on a low heat, melt the butter Once it's already completely melted, add the red food coloring, mix them together, and then add the yellow food coloring. Add the flour Sugar Nutmeg And cinnamon And mix them together until well combined
Now, transfer it into a pan. And bake this in a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Scoop about a tablespoon of the dough and shape it into a bowl. If you don't like it to stick in your hands, put a bit of oil in your hands before shaping the dough. Chill this in the fridge for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, Coat it with a butternut coating. By the way, if you like your butternut coating to be finer, just blitz it in the blender or ninja and sift it after. Then, transfer it in a baking tray and make sure that you leave space between each bowl about 2 inches. And bake this in a preheated oven of 175 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. After baking, let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes in a baking tray. Then, transfer it into a wire rack to completely cool. And here's our finished product! This chocolate button and crinkles is so rich and fudgy. I hope you're going to try this recipe. This is what it looks like inside. If you like this recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! Mm. So chewy and delicious.